Leaders across the Western world are of the opinion that Iran may have indeed shot down a Ukrainian airliner when it launched missiles at the American bases in Iraq. This after U.S. intelligence sources too floated that theory. Meanwhile, a video purporting to show the moment of impact is being shared like wildfire on Telegram. The person who posted the video on Telegram and Twitter, Narman Gharib, has contacted several media outlets and open source investigators. The New York Times have said that they received a higher resolution version and got their visual investigations team to look into it. Vion at this point cannot verify this. However, several open source investigation platforms like Bellingcat, an independent collective of researchers, have filed compelling reports. In the video, approximately 10 seconds pass between the flash of impact of what is believed to be a missile and the sound of the explosion. You can see this video on your screens right now. Buildings seen in the background are at least five stories high and have a distinctive design. Several rows of evenly spaced buildings are visible. Open source investigators have even geolocated this video to a residential area in Iran's Paran suburb, which lies to the west of the Imam Khomeini International Airport, from which Ukraine's International Airlines flight PS 752 departed for Kiev. While this footage shows an apparent missile strike, it is important to note that at this time no foolproof conclusions can be made. It is also unclear why the person holding the camera was filming the exact moment. But it is possible that there were two projectiles prompting the person to begin filming. And so in a turn of events, U.S. and Canada have now said that the Ukrainian aircraft which crashed after taking off from Tehran was accidentally shot down by an Iranian anti-aircraft missile. Canadian intelligence reports now show that the plane may have been accidentally shot down by a missile. According to U.S. intelligence officials, the plane was shot down by two Russian-made surface-to-air missiles. According to reports, the U.S. apparently saw Iranian radar signals lock onto the jetliner before it was shot down. And now U.S. will also take a part in the investigation, according to the U.S. National Transportation Safety Board. Earlier, U.S. President Donald Trump had said that he had his suspicions about what happened to the plane. Well, I have my suspicions. It was very, I, I don't want to say that because other people have those suspicions also. Uh, it, it's a tragic thing when I see that. It's a tragic thing. Uh, but somebody could have made a mistake on the other side, could have, could have made a mistake. It was flying, it was, it was flying in uh, not our system, no, it has nothing to do with us. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said that Canada has intelligence showing the plane was shot down by Iranian surface-to-air missile. Remember, at least 63 Canadians were killed in that fatal plane crash. We have intelligence from multiple sources, including our allies and our own intelligence. The evidence indicates that the plane was shot down by an Iranian surface-to-air missile. This may well have been unintentional. The families of the victims and all Canadians want answers. I want answers. That means closure, transparency, accountability, and justice. And this government will not rest until we get that. The Iranian authorities have indicated that they uh, wish to keep the black boxes in uh, Iran, uh, but have indicated to President Zelensky of Ukraine that Ukrainian investigators uh, would uh, have access to those black boxes. UK has now backed the missile theory, with Prime Minister Boris Johnson saying that there was now a body of information that indicated the crash was caused by an Iranian missile. Johnson made his announcement after U.S. officials and Trudeau said Iran could be involved in the downing of the Ukraine Airlines flight.
Now, amid all these speculations, Iran has now denied all these claims. Iran's foreign ministry has invited Boeing and Ukraine to take part in the official inquiry into the crash. Iran's foreign affairs spokesperson Abbas Musavi tweeted that the investigation into the cause has officially been launched based on international guidelines. The crash took place at a time when tensions between Iran and the United States have been escalating and happened just hours after Iran had fired missiles at two Iraqi bases housing American troops. The timing of the crash has made the case murkier, with 176 people being killed. Remember, Iran had earlier refused to hand over the plane's black box to the aircraft manufacturer Boeing. Yesterday, an initial report by Iranian investigators claimed that the aircraft was on fire even before it crashed. Meanwhile, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky expressed his condolences over the deaths of Canadian citizens in a phone call with Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Zelensky added that Ukraine is interested in a transparent and objective investigation of the tragedy and finding the truth. Безперечно, пріоритетом для України є встановлення причин авіакатастрофи. Ми обов'язково дізнаємось правду. Для цього буде проведено детальне і незалежне розслідування відповідно до норм міжнародного права. Розслідування авіакатастрофи здійснить комісія, створена організацією цивільної авіації Ісламської Республіки Іран.